Hey, welcome to this new tutorial. Uh, in this one, we are going uh, to make the mesh for the regions, and uh, we also uh, that was not planned, but we'll also make our graphic instance class because we need it actually, and uh, a small resources class called Res just to load uh, materials and texture from our resource folder. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, yeah, let's start. So let's create the mesh data class. Um, let's create a new folder in scripts called visuals. And uh, create mesh data that's yes. So uh, we're going to make a struct for this, I think. So uh, basically, a uh, mesh data contains uh, vertices uh, and this or triangle and this maybe V. Uh, uh, we will need colors for game, so let's add colors and whatever you want, but. Uh, and the mesh, of course. Uh, actually, should I make a class or a struct? Because maybe I don't want to define my mesh. Well, let's make a struct for now. And uh, so this is going to be a list of vector tree uh, called vertices. This is going to be a list of integer called addresses. Vector two called EVs. Colors. And even no, I don't want to save them. Let's uh, think about this later. So let's make uh, two constructor. The first one is just um, what? The first one is just uh, we don't know anything about the mesh, so we initialize uh, our list uh, without a capacity. And uh, oh, dot collect system dot collection dot generic. And uh, the second case is when we and the parameters. Yeah. Let's make a class because um, actually I want here I don't want to define my uh, so and let's also make a constructor called um, mesh data uh, and uh, right. so uh, most of our meshes are planes right. Uh, so we know uh, a plane is four vertices and six triangles most of the time we will know the size the capacity of our lists. Uh, uh, yeah. So we can call this count of plane count. Right, um, and uh, yeah, 
if this is the case, right, we know um, we know here it's a plane count uh, multiplied by four. Uh, for and this is plane count. Uh, sorry, plane count multiplied by six. Um, uh, we, maybe we need a flat system because we don't for us. Well, hmm. yeah, we don't need the colors or the UVs for everything. Now let's make a flag system. So we call this base. Um, vertices and uh, triangles. This is uh, by default for all of meshes. We call this uh, UV. Uh, it should be equal to one. Um, so well, one. Uh, yeah. Uh, And R equal. Uh, uh, like this, right? I think this is correct. Uh, it's been, uh, been a long time since I used binary flags in a project, but uh, uh, here we get the mesh flags, equal flags equals mesh flags. And for the color, we can do flags and uh, mesh flag dot color equal equal mesh flag dot color. I think right. Uh, and uh, if this is true, it's a plain count. Same stuff for. I'm not sure this is working. Like I said, it's been a long time, but I think this is a. Oh. Let's do this. Well, um. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe we save the flags. Like, uh, then we will uh, give the flags here too. Let's make uh, let's make some no let's make a build and a clear function so build of mesh and maybe we can pass flags here to know what we are want to build or just use the flags with stores yeah we for now we just uh, use the but uh, for vertices and um, um, and this is we check uh, we have a, a count with uh, greater than zero because uh, if this is not the case for one of them uh, the mesh is invalid, right? So. Oh, and, and let's do a create new mesh. So, yeah, uh, so this dot create. 
good English. Um, so this that match that the vertices. No, this that match that set vertices, right? Uh, no, this is the vertices, and this is the match that set triangles. And I can use the list here, I think. Um, and the submeshial index is zero because we don't use submeshes here. And then if uh, this dot flags uh, and uh, mesh flags that should be equals mesh flags dot should be this dot mesh dot set and the same for the colors So let's create a new mesh. Uh, let's uh, if this dot mesh different than new. Uh, right. Like this. Uh, like this way, we always clean the new mesh. And uh, so here. Maybe we destroy also the mesh we just created. Um, well, yeah. well, okay, <laughs> sorry about this. Uh, what do we need? We need a clear. So let's make a the mesh data. Basically, we'll do this point that this is the clear, this is the and this is the clear, this is the clear, this is the clear, this is the clear. This is the clear. This is the clear. Uh, all right. So maybe we can do uh, some stuff like. Uh, a triangle because we we will need this um, yeah. so we need the vertex index index and uh, three indices and we do this that and this is the add uh, e index plus uh, that's the triangle, right? Um, I think. I'm not even sure I need base here. Uh, or I would uh, want a uh, mesh without a. Uh, Right. Yeah. But uh, maybe it can be uh, if you use the same uh, enum for 
maybe we want to draw uh, to update later maybe we want an update function and update only the vertices and the triangle so this can be useful i think so yeah let's uh, repeat this way for now yeah i think this is going to so let's try to implement this and make a regional So now that we have our mesh, let's uh, try to render a uh, region, right? Uh, we could do, uh, because um, the, for example, the, uh, uh, how do I explain this? Uh, let's go to Unity. Uh, Unity is okay. Right. Uh, so for the, we're gonna have uh, some. Uh, I, I will call this uh, like uh, uh, map region renderer. So we want to draw a mesh for each region here. But uh, for the the trees, for example, or for the grass, we want to be able to draw. Uh, just a plain mesh, like a sprite for each of them. So we'll make a region render and we'll make a tileable render, right? And uh, the mesh, uh, the region render is going to use uh, graphics draw mesh, uh, the Unity function, and the tileable render is uh, going to use graphic draw mesh in sunset, because like I said in the introduction video. We want to draw maybe uh, I don't know uh, on a big map we want to draw a lot of grass right so this needs to be fast so first let's start by making the uh, mesh render well the region render. I'm thinking about uh, how I'm going to do this. So I think uh, some layers will have a... section render and some uh, will not. Right. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, create a new class and call this uh, in uh, visuals, call this map region under or region under CS. Uh, right. What uh, do we need? We need the region, we need, we will uh, make the region. Let's make a constructor for now. Well, let's not make a constructor actually. Okay. Uh, so, okay. And here we are using five visuals. So, um, for some of our layers, we need a section, a region. Okay. So, let's make a dictionary. To initialize this, so this dot render is equal to additional. Yeah, why not? Uh, 
and we also need uh, to add uh, well for now we'll just add the let's uh, do a separate function right private word add renderers and uh, this dot renderers dot add uh, layer dot ground let's call this uh, for now let's call this uh, region renderer but Well, new region on now. And uh, maybe we want the region here, right? to uh, extend region renderer, right? Uh, because maybe we want uh, we don't want the same renderer for uh, the ground and for the sky, for example. Or I don't know. Um, and maybe we want our layer here also. Yeah. We will need the layer. So. a mesh per uh, oh. so if we um, because right now we just have one ground right but uh, if we add another one let's call it water right Let's make some quick uh, textures. Uh, well, right, we can do this after. Uh, so, if we have dirt and water, we don't want to uh, draw the dirt and the water on the same layer because uh, they will use uh, different uh, materials, and this is why we need to, to do the graphic instance class. For now, we could just use the material. As an identifier, uh, I don't like this. But we yeah, are. Let's use the material, and we'll change this uh, in the next episode, right? So yeah. So basically, we want the mesh for each material, right? Uh, so. Let's do a dictionary, I guess. But uh, this will change, right? Uh, because I don't like this idea. Uh, And we could just do something like material and mesh data. Yeah, 
for now let's do this but uh, okay Function to get the um, get the current mesh for the material. the mesh in the RD questionnaire, just, uh, just put in the mesh, and if this is not the case, uh, let's uh, add the mesh to the dictionary. And um, do we know the size of the region? Yeah, we do. Um, so the size will be uh, well. Uh, because maybe we don't want. Um, uh, sometimes we don't want to use the size, so Let's do a uh, use size because it is true. If use size uh, equals true, let's do uh, this dot region dot generate dot area. going to work. I'm not sure. No. No. Yeah, I can do this. Okay. Uh, Something like this, right? And, uh, okay. Uh, so let's do um, let's do a function build for the mesh. So uh, build the current uh, region. Build, build all the meshes on meshes for this region. Public void uh, build meshes. So for each uh, vector to v in uh, this dot region dot right, right. Um, and for now we just can do a tile lab. Tileable uh, tileable equals. Uh, the trojan that map uh, v 
copy that <laughs> get this dot layer right available and uh, if available is not null and I don't like to check this every time so maybe we will do something it's what I will rename this, I think. And it's like that to everything. Yeah. Uh, right. uh, so, uh, if we have a tile label on this layer, um, we want to get the current mesh, so mesh data. Uh, current mesh again this dot get mesh by material uh, yeah but, but we don't have the material right uh, so. uh, for now this is going to be a string uh, actually because we just have the material name uh, and later we will uh, Let's use the texture name actually uh, for now because uh, we don't. Uh, this is a kind of shitty because we don't have the texture and uh, the graphic instance, and uh, this is not supposed to be working like this. But I want to be able to show something so on the screen, so I'm going to make it like this, and later we will replace uh, this uh, by our graphic instance, right? This is going to be the next episode. Uh, and uh, do you need? Do we need this size here? Yeah, yeah, we need to. Okay, and um, let's get the vertex on this. Uh, it's current mesh dot 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 count dot count. Um, and let's uh, add some vertices. I made a tutorial about this, but uh, uh, I will explain this uh, again. Mount. So this plus one plus one, and uh, this plus one, one. So that's our four points, right? And uh, and uh, we just need to add the triangle now. So the first one uh, that uh, v index and it's uh, zero one two. So zero zero one two, right? We, that's the first triangle, and the second one is uh, up. Uh, second one is zero two three zero. That's it. Um, we just need to do this for the other. Yeah, and uh, then let's uh, forage on. Uh, that and just do a match that. Uh, that let's build uh, all the meshes. Right. Um, oh, and uh, let's uh, also do a draw function. Draw uh, the mesh on the screen. And uh, this will be a virtual function at the end, but... Uh, yeah, and let's uh, do a private... Uh, is do... We need to redraw this region. So, uh, 
if this uh, trigger, right, this that uh, mesh. Uh, well, let's do. Well, we need the. Uh, yeah. But uh, uh, for now, it's going to be okay. Uh, and uh, for each uh, k value pair, yeah, that's kind of shitty. I use a texture here, but for now, we are going to hack this for now and. Uh, after that, we will make the graphical stash class because it's going to be problematic. So we want the mesh, right? Cave that value is mesh data, right? We want the position. What's our position? Zero zero, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we want uh, rotation. So we want the material, but for now we don't have one. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, let's do a new material, right? And. Uh, Yeah, let's do new material, but uh, this is going to change, right? I can do this. I need the shader, right? Well, let's this uh, let. Uh, can I? Yeah, uh, I can give a null material, so that's fun. Uh, so this should draw the mesh, right? And. Um, yeah, let's make the clear real quickly. It's uh, quite easy. Uh, uh. Ah, sorry, uh, I need to take a break. Oh yeah, sorry, someone was at my door. Uh, but. Uh, I think about it while uh, uh, doing stuff, and uh, I think we need our graphic instance class now, actually. Uh, so let's create it. Uh, so let's make a new class in visuals called graphic instances.cs, and uh, we'll be using phi.definitions, I think, and uh, maybe. Uh, and the collection, the generic. Uh, and uh, what what is a graphic and well, what uh, what is it? And uh, so uh, so a graphic instance is just uh, an unique uh, association, or uh, we say, of. Uh, Color, texture, material, uh, later, draw priority, some stuff like this, right? So, um, so a graphic instance uh, will have an ID or a hash, right? Uh, so, Uh, this will have also a material. Uh, so we need a unit here. Uh, we also need a texture. Maybe a color, and uh, we we'll need the um, graphic definition. Uh, and do we need 
the mesh. Maybe we will need the mesh later, but uh, yeah. So, uh, let's make a, let's make a, so, Let's make, first let's make, a, let's generate the identifier. Uh, so uh, for this we need um, graphic dev, dev, and maybe we want to be able to override uh, the texture, color, and uh, de uh, yeah, but. Yeah. Maybe we want to be able to do some stuff like this, right? Yeah. So, uh, if this is uh, not defined, Let's forget this for now. Uh, we'll think about this later. So, uh, And we'll have the draw priority eventually. Yeah. So the the let's do the override for the get hash code, right? And let's do a construct. No, no, let's do a static method because uh, basically we want to be able to get uh, an instances from the identifier. So let's make a static dictionary of instances uh, and call this. And let's make a public void, a public static graphic uh, instance. Get new uh, def. second sorry for that so here we are we um, so graphic instance dot add right id uh, new graphic instance oh and that one Right, and let's make a constructor now. Uh, yeah, 
So, except we don't have the texture right now. We need to make a static class to load textures and stuff, but... Uh, Yeah, uh, we need to be able to to get the material from the texture. Uh, so I guess we'll make. A, sorry, I guess you make a new class in uh, helpers called uh, west.cs. It's going to be a quick static class just to. Uh, uh, just to load the, the resources. So we have a dictionary of uh, string and uh, material and call this material and uh, static dictionary di dictionary of string textures 2D with these textures, right? And uh, load Materials, we got new dictionary. This, um, let's get all, all the maths in the resource folder. All materials, right? Um, and for each uh, material, maths. And do just this right. This should work right. And let's do the rest. Of, uh, let's do the exact same shit for the text right. So now that we have this, uh, if you we use uh, file helpers, right? We can ju just do res dot materials uh, def dot material name, right? And create a new material, and the main texture is going to be uh, res dot textures def dot texture name. This way, ah, this is fine, I guess. Um, but actually, no. Well, it's important we be able to overload the texture, color, or even set. Uh, because what happens if the texture name is not in the texture array, right? Of, or if we don't want a texture. So we'll think about this later, but the override that I started to do the, here is uh, quite useful. Uh, yeah. And we need to add stuff like set color and draw priority. But uh, yeah, we'll do this later. For now, let's just do this. Um, Uh, 
should work, right? And uh, so let's comment uh, quickly. Um, Let's uh, let's pass the ID and let's call this radio. Okay. So now in our region runner, we can change this stuff. We can do int here, and the int will be the unique identifier of our graphic instance. So uh, let's rename this to uh, get mesh. Each table, we also need a graphic instance, right? So we need we need five that visual. Fine, I guess. Uh, sorry, this was right, a uh, little messy, but that's what uh, Dev is, right? Uh, I didn't plan this. Uh, I didn't plan everything before. I think about it, but uh, nothing definitive, right? So, no. Um, let's clear the meshes. So, let's just do this and. Here for our mesh data here. Um, the draw is good, right? Uh, so, uh, one mesh per graphic instance. And this layer. Uh, yeah. That should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now, so we have a renderer. 
put um let's make a Let's make a public void draw and public void refresh or rebuild or build meshes. Build all the meshes in all the renderers. Rows. Just need to do for each uh, region on the app, right? On the in C got run run the rows dot values uh, run the dot row right and uh, for each uh, copy actually. Good measures. Um, yeah. Yeah. As for now, we'll, we'll keep this like this and uh, we'll just uh, test if it is working. So let's uh, uh, let's change this. So we need to uh, now we need to uh, make a file that enters and do uh, result. Load, yeah. Load all our resources. Load. Uh, yeah. uh, and uh, let's do uh, the origins now, and we will clean this later, but. Uh, So build uh, all the meshes. Yeah, uh, we'll do a function a method later for this, but uh, for now let's just do uh, let's just do this for now uh, just to test if this is working. So I'm going to create. Uh, okay, I'm going to create some stuff. Uh, um select uh, yeah, let's do a specific that's uh, going to be dirt right and we'll do some good graphics later but that's going to be dirt and um Fuck my organization. Texture in here, and uh, let's create a new material called uh, jobs. And uh, uh, let's use a texture and lit. Why 
Avengers. Texture. Okay, uh, so let's uh, use this, and uh, we have our two texture here. Believe this should work. It should be ugly, but it should work. Do I have an So the given K was not really dictionary. I'm supposing it's another uh, uh, texture generator here, texture generator here. Oh, this is So let's fix this. Uh, is I just missing a letter here, right? And now it should work. Uh, let's uh, check in Unity. Uh, so. Yay, we have a map, right? Uh, so, and uh, our regions uh, are here, and you should have a mesh for each region, right? So, if we break after drawing the first one, for example, um, so here, we should draw only one mesh. Uh, so Seems like it's working, yeah, with only one mesh, right? So the map is just uh, four buffer meshes of uh, 25 by 25, right? And uh, next time we'll draw a real uh, texture for the ground and the water. Uh, we'll also uh, make uh, some grass or tree, I don't know yet, but uh, one of them uh, because uh, we need to. Um, Basically, uh, we want some stuff to be rendered by region, like the ground, for example, uh, because the ground is never going to change, right? Uh, and uh, we don't need to destroy it, we don't need to... It's static, basically. And, uh, but our tile label, uh, like the buildings or the grass, we uh, do not use the region render we just made. This, is, this will be only used for ground, um, uh, climate, uh, for example, the snow or the shadows, um, uh, everything that the player can't really interact with, right? But for the thing, we have uh, many, uh, we need to get access quickly, and we have uh, many of them, like grass or mineables or buildings, will make a tileable renderer. Um, and basically, we'll uh, also use our graphic instance stuff, but instead of draw, drawing using uh, graphic .draw mesh, we'll use uh, graphics .draw mesh uh, instance. This one, um, because uh, a grass will always be a plane, and a plane is just four vertices, right? Um, if you want me to explain uh, more uh, how uh, meshes work and stuff like this, I could make an episode about it. Because uh, when I did my mesh data, here I assume you know how uh, mesh is working. Uh, but uh, And the same when I set the vertices and the triangles. But uh, if you want me to do a video on this, I can. I already made a tutorial about it on my uh, website, firewall.net. Yeah. So next episode, we'll set the tileable render and uh, also we'll uh, draw some stuff. And uh, we'll, uh, maybe we'll uh, change a little bit this class to be able to override the color and set the our priority. I just added this, by the way, uh, of video. But uh, this is not used in the thing, so let's remove it. Um, yeah. So yeah, hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye. -bye.